So before this magical Halloween journey begins, I thought I would let you know that I only realized after I finished filming this video that one of the cameras that I was filming on was set to manual focus. So there's a large portion of this video that won't be in focus and I very much apologize, but there was no way that I was going to remake it and get into costume again for a second year in a row. It's Halloween season, or I mean, I really should just say Halloween season. And while I didn't decorate my room at all, because quite frankly, I can't quite remember where I put the Halloween decorations, I thought it was time for my annual tradition of dressing up in a Halloween costume despite not really celebrating the holiday and having nowhere to go. This year, based off a bunch of videos of people telling me that I look like Florence Pugh, I thought I would become Yelena. So today I'm officially claiming the Yelena figure as an official sig fig of me and I'm going to replicate her outfit from Black Widow. Now the first thing I needed to do in order to do this was order the vest. I mean it's the iconic thing. I was hoping to get the white snowsuit as well but it was a bit too far out of my budget so I just ordered the vest. And yes, it does have real pockets. So here's the exact outfit that we're going for, the sort of just like vest and jeans. It's pretty basic, pretty simple, and I know and I'm pretty sure that I can try and pull it off pretty easily. I've even bought myself some gold earrings since she has that full ear stack. However, I don't have second piercings, let alone a cartilage piercing, so we're not doing the full thing. But everything else should be okay. I also wanted to do this before I get my hair dyed because I found Florence Pugh in this to sort of have her hair slightly grown out, which is sort of what mine is at the moment. So I feel like hair wise, we should be pretty accurate too. It's the plot from Home Alone, except instead of doing anything remotely interesting, I'm dressing up in a costume because why not? Um, the first step was actually to put on some golden like little hoop earrings. This was the closest thing I can find and honestly, that entire process is kind of gross so I just did it without you. Next up, we have the vest. This is what I am most excited for. Now, I should probably go and pull up the reference photo actually for my own sort of like self-interest, I guess. Okay, so here's our reference. So I know for a fact that she's sort of got like this white under like shirt vest thing. And I've got one of them. I mean, not really. It's a Lululemon A-line tank, but I'm going to go put that on and then we'll chuck the vest on. I mean, I feel like we're already 50% of the way there. I mean, I know I've got to like do my makeup at some point because she's got this like really cool like little smoky eye thing, but I kind of want to do the hair first just so that it's up and out the way. I'm going to need a second hair tie for this. Um, this feels kind of impractical to do in a vest, but never mind. Sort of like that, but also not. Okay. Okay, so like what does her face look like? I mean, overall, it just seems like very natural. I can do that. I mean, we've both got pretty round faces, so I feel like I don't really need to contour all that much. For anyone relatively interested in the actual makeup application process of this costume, this is the Glossier Cloud Paint. Okay, I think I put a bit too much on my left cheek. Oh dear. Now, she's not particularly, like, glowing either. Again, I feel like this is very much, like, no makeup. I should know... No, I'm not gonna put on my powder yet. I might be like completely making things up right now, but for as long as I can remember, people have told me that my eyes like shift color. Um, and I've sort of noticed it within myself. Then again, I could be delusional. Um, but if they happen to, I'd like them to be more of a green right now because Florence's are like a green and like hazel. Whereas mine are like a bluey gray for the most part. It's hot today and I don't want to put on my black jeans right now. But like, would that infringe on like the Disneyland costume rules? Because for anyone who doesn't know, when you're over the age of 13, you're not allowed to wear a costume except for like the Halloween party thing. And that's so that like kids don't go up to you thinking you're the real character. So I wonder, right, if I just like had my hair down, was I like, would I get away with it or would they seize my vest off me and tell me to change? Like I, I kind of want to test that theory, kind of don't, just in case I get kicked out of California Adventure. I might have stuffed up my eyebrow shape there. I mean, it could just look weird because I've done nothing to my eyes. I think that's it. Now, like I said, I feel like the main things to look like Elena are like really accentuating like a smoky, like fox dye, which I think I can do with eyeshadow. I don't think I need to use eyeliner. Then chuck on some mascara as well as like a, she's got like a peachy, like neutral lip thing going on. So I need to try that. I mean, does she have that when she's just sort of like 
standing there. I mean, I think she does. I think I'm nailing this personally. I'm pretty sure this is all expired. Um, so maybe I shouldn't be putting it near my eyes, but then again, it's a powder, right? Surely it can't be that bad for you. Uh, the lighting in here is so bad that I really can't see. I feel like I don't look like myself. I mean, maybe it's because I haven't worn makeup in so long or done like anything proper to my eyes. I don't know. I feel like just like a really gangster version of me. Okay, well for the most part my entire face is done. I just need to find a lipstick that looks like hers. Let's just go with this pinky burr minerals thing. I mean, right, we're done. All right, now this is the fun part. Look at that. But like, wait, look, I've got actual pockets. Oh, I have an idea. I hope that gag was worth it because I just broke off part of my banner to wing. Now there is one thing I'm missing and that is a bandage on my arm. So let's go consult the medicine cabinet. At least this one's not stale. So, outfit reveal. I feel like I could hunt an Avenger down and his little sidekick and win. I tried to make this as accurate as possible to the film. However, it's really hard when I don't have a table in front of me. Um, so that was my annual Halloween costume. I realized that I forgot to film an outro, so here it is. I had a lot of fun recreating this costume and outfit, and I wish I could have gotten the snowsuit. Maybe I'll invest in that in the future and do it again, because I absolutely love dressing up as this character. I love Florence Pugh, and that vest is also very, very comfortable. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below. And until next time guys, I'll see you later.